Sir Winston Churchill was a remarkable man. He was born in 1874, in a noble family with an extraordinary history. His father, Lord Randolph Churchill, was a prominent politician. His mother, Jenny Jerome, an enchanting American socialite. Young Winston wasn't fond of school. He struggled academically but excelled in military matters. At only 24 years old, he became a war correspondent. This occupation took him to numerous countries and battles. He wrote about his experiences with passion and flair. His writing earned him fame and fortune early in life. Yet it wasn't enough for young Churchill. He decided to enter politics at the age of 26. Like his father before him, he wanted to make a difference for his countrymen. Churchill faced setbacks as well as triumphs throughout his political career. In the early days of World War I, he led the Admiralty with great enthusiasm. However, the Gallipoli campaign went horribly wrong under his watchful eye. Churchill's reputation took a hit after this failure but he didn't give up on himself or his country. When World War II broke out in 1939, Churchill found himself back at the helm of Britain's military affairs despite all odds against him as Prime Minister during this trying time for Britain and Europe alike. Sir Winston proved to be just what they needed when it mattered most he inspired millions with speeches that stirred their hearts, giving them hope even when it seemed all was lost his famous. We shall fight on the beaches, speech still resonates today as one of history's most powerful wartime orations but even great men have their personal demons. Sir Winston struggled throughout life with what he called, black dog, depression that would often leave him bedridden for days on end and yet through every trial, both personal and political, Sir Winston persevered. Ever determined not let those around him down many times he faced defeat, but he never lost his passion for serving the people he cared for so deeply as the war ended. Churchill's life took yet another twist. He was voted out of office in 1945 but this would not be the end of his story. Far from it for six years, Churchill spent his time writing and painting, both lifelong passions of his that brought him solace during difficult periods in life then, in 1951, Sir Winston returned to politics as Prime Minister once more, a testament to his resilience and determination this time around though things were different. Britain had changed immensely since the war had ended Churchill focused on rebuilding Britain's economy and strengthening international relations with newfound vigor in 1955. At age 80, Sir Winston retired from politics for good but not before leaving an indelible mark upon history as one of its most iconic figures he lived out the rest of his days quietly with family until passing away at age 90 in 1965. Sir Winston Churchill was a man who fought adversity with unrelenting courage. His leadership during wartime inspired millions to stand together against tyranny, and even after leaving office, the spirit that guided him through life's toughest challenges continued to inspire generations long after he was gone.